Hello everybody, welcome back to the final video on the storage input. So from the last video, it has been significantly redesigned um, by a lot. So it works in the same way that the last one did, buffer storage, all that, chocobox and loaders, loaders, whatever. Um, and chocobox storage for the empty chocoboxes. But it has gotten considerably smaller, if you look, look, go back and look at the last episode. Um, it was considerably larger, used a ton more hoppers, and, yeah, very big, didn't like that. So, this one is different in the sense that it's way smaller, and it only uses one metamile item check, so it doesn't go through, like, three of them or whatever I had down there. So, basically, uh, the full and empty shulk boxes don't get sorted from sort of apart from each other. They all get processed by one unit besides two. Um, and yeah, this basically separates the shulker boxes and items after they're done unloading, which is what that thing did down there in the last one. And you also improved dropper lines for better lag. Um, the slime's a different color because of the texture pack. Just you know that. Um, yeah, mostly same though. Um, but I'm just going to show all those items will get processed, and they'll all get processed pretty much the same. Because so they're all items, so they're all going to get shot. Not from here, but into here. And then suck down, down into here. Just going to let those pop up. It's almost done. There. Everything is back in inventory how it should be. Um, the reason I showed off that was because TNT, if it got placed by a dispenser, it would ignite immediately and blow up everything. Oh, same with water and lava, obviously, along with arrows, and just is so that it works with non-stackable and stackable items. I use a sword and uh, stone bricks. But now the interesting part. So you can put in uh, uh, partially shulker boxes, empty shulker boxes, and full shulker boxes, and they're all going to get processed the same, which is really cool. It's all handled by that system there, and we can see it all working here. It is exactly hopper speed. And there we go. So we got the 16 diamond ore that was inside that shulker box. And the two shulker boxes ended up right here. And you can also use this with full shulker boxes. I just didn't show it off because it's going to take a while to empty. There it goes. And that's going to start emptying that huge array of items like so. Um, one of the problems I came across with making it is that, you know, this hopper line was getting locked by this, so I had to rearrange it a little bit. Um, my friend, uh, I believe Iron Fox came to help with this dropper line, because I had built it wrong, apparently, <laughs> and every other, uh, variation of this thing. Um, it was way too tall here, in fact, I can paste in the schematic of one, uh, right here. Uh, where is it? Uh, this is it. Okay. Uh, so this is not exactly it, but it's one of the ones that we settled on for the vinyl. Obviously, you can see how much just bigger it is. Way bigger. Huge. And very unreliable. Um, I tried to not make that so good in the videos, but yeah, this thing is unreliable as hell. The items would always get stuck in this hopper. There were a ton of hoppers. Um, the shocker box on motor wasn't the best, uh, along with the processors down there. You see how many more things are used, and they were all laid out differently to avoid QC. And yeah, different. Yeah, this is the main thing that was holding it back. It's an awful system. Yeah, this is very way big, way bigger. Used more hoppers down here, as you can see, ton of hoppers for no reason at all. 
worse dropper line, taller design, more sewing blocks that had to be used there. Um, yeah, so this thing is obviously way better. There will be a schematic in the description. I'm not going to show off how to build this. You need Litmatica for one that's 16.5 or higher, I believe this thing works in. It may work in 1.14, but it does need a slime block or a uh, target block here, so just be careful of that. So, it's going to take a little bit. Oh boy, I cannot type this morning. Here we go. Um, Yeah, pretty fast. <laughs> um, I'm in spectator mode here and show off the sugar box, which is right here. I'm rolling pretty fast. It's just because the tick warp is high, it's actually at a hopper speed, which is very important. That was so perfect, it's not even fun. <laughs> what? Okay, we can see it empty right there. Boom. All resets. No chocolate box came out of there. Got all the items back. The light turned off. And we got the chocolate box from here. So that's how it processes uh, full chocolate boxes. I wouldn't recommend putting full, full chocolate boxes in it just because we're probably also going to need a binary. Shocker box letter, so yeah, or a shock box sorter rather. Um, but yeah, so this is just a short video to show this thing. Um, I may try and link credits to the videos that these are in, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them along with this one. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. I don't think it's that hard to um, come up with something maybe a little better. In fact, I would love to hear your guys's. Um, help in the description, you know, if I'm not sure. <laughs> in the um, comment section, that would be really helpful. I do need a little bit of input. I'm fairly new to this. Uh, I believe I'm getting pretty good, but uh, this one does look cool, but uh, yeah, not functional. Um, yeah, so if you have any input, uh, please let me know. Comments are always open, and uh, yeah, have a good day.